Three men are on the run in Newport News tonight after police say they invaded a home, shot the man who stays there, then took off after a pit bull started attacking. Ten of your sides, Andy Fox is just back from South Menchville Road in the Riverview area of the city. Andy. Yeah, Nicole, we call this story deadly home invasion. There's lots of nuances to this story. It's a sad story, but police are thinking this was not a random act of violence. They think that based on what was left behind in the house. 925 Monday night, Newport News police called to 405 Menchville Road South. They found 51-year-old Jeffrey Allen Summers with a gunshot to the arm that severed an artery. He basically bled to death. At this point, we don't know if the victim knew the suspects or not because we don't know who the suspects are. Uh, they were masked, dressed all in dark clothing, so we still don't know who they are at this point. Police say Summers was with three others when three masked men stormed the house. Forced their way into the residence force the uh, individuals to lie on the floor. Uh, at some point, for some reason, the victim was shot in the arm. The suspects left after one was attacked by a pit bull. Here is one important point to the story. Police found in Summer's home a large amount of cash and drugs. I can tell you definitively that we recovered a large amount of, of money and a large amount of illegal drugs, namely marijuana and cocaine. This woman would only identify herself as Summer's stepdaughter. Do you know who would have done this to him? No, I don't. Some punk little kids, okay? They don't have a life. They don't care about anybody. They don't care about the well-being. He had grandkids. He has children. A lot of people depend on this man, and he was a good man. But the drugs, the money, is that the motive? Not sure. That's why the Newport News Organized Crime Division stayed at the house most of the day, searching everything, including the backyard. I think given the facts as we know them right now, at least the preliminary stages, this was not a random type situation. Do you know anything about the money or the drugs that were found? No, inside? I do not. And I will not comment on that at all. Police are working on certain preliminary assumptions that this crime took place over drugs and money likely. Robbery at this point does not look like a primary motive, suggesting someone may have wanted to settle a score with Jeffrey Allen Summers, who appears to be, at this point, the one and only target. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. If you have any information that can help police, call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP.